Hello everyone, this is Dan with Sydney's Angels. Today we're going to talk about the $60 giveaway that I referenced in one of my previous videos. I'm new to giveaways and I didn't really think about how I was going to go about this until after the fact. So if you're interested in this giveaway, I'm going to be doing three giveaways now because it's taken me a little longer to get this out. So first prize will be a $60 gift card to my store. Second prize and third prize will be $25 gift cards to my store, which second and third will get you free shipping, so that's kind of nice. If you are interested, all you have to do is subscribe to my channel, click that bell icon so you get notified of the next video coming out because that will tell you if you want or not, and write the word guppy in the comments below. You can write anything else you want to, I, I appreciate any kind of messages people want to write, but just write the word guppy down there in your message so that I know you're interested, you live in the US, and you are able to use this gift card for something. I don't want to give someone a gift card that's never going to use it. For all my international subscribers that might not live in the USA, I'm going to be coming out with merchandise and more things like that in the weeks and months ahead. So. I really appreciate you just as much, and I wish we could send you live fish, but I know there's a lot of laws that prevent me from doing so in certain places, so stay tuned for some of that stuff too, because I'll be doing more giveaways. I managed to get a little bit of time off of work. I got two shifts off in a row, which gives me seven days off, which is awesome. So I'm going to be making two more videos, and the first video I'm going to make has to do with breeding white cloud mountain minnows. If you guys have been following my channel, you know that I've bred these one time so far, and these are my first batch of fry. I want to teach you about these fish if you don't know. They're very common in the aquarium hobby. They're very beautiful, very easy to keep, very easy to breed. And I want to show you guys how I did it. So if you're interested in learning how to breed white cloud mountain minnows and learning more about the species, consider subscribing so you don't miss this one. So it's kind of funny, sometimes when you have this many tanks, you kind of forget about fish. I don't want that to sound bad, but I just, sometimes my focus shifts to other fish, and I just kind of forget about my favorite fish, which happens to be the CPDs, or Celestial Pearl Danios. And I was netting out eight emerald rasporas the other day for a customer that uh, bought some off the website. And I had them in the net, and I was looking at them, and I'm like, gosh, these are these guys are beautiful. Like, I didn't realize I had so many of them. So they're doing like Ring Around the Rosie right now. <laughs> and uh, I haven't bred them in a while. These are just fry that are finally growing out into adult size. I've been wanting to make an automatic egg catcher for a while now. And I think this week I'm going to do it. I ordered some parts. Yeah, I want to breed more of these guys. And I want to teach you guys how to breed them too, my way. There's a bunch of different ways how to do it. They're actually pretty easy to breed. The tough part is raising the fry. If you don't have any experience raising fry, they are tiny, 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 tiny. So if you're interested in breeding CPDs and emerald rasporas and learning how that process is going to go with an automatic egg catcher, consider subscribing because you don't want to miss that one either. That's going to be a good video. Just want to show you some new stuff I got going on in the fish room since my last video. I took all the angels from the 90 gallon upstairs and brought them down to this 20 high. And that's just to see who kind of pairs up with who. And it'll be a breeding tank probably just for a pair of angelfish. I'll move the ones that don't pair up out to another tank. These are all black marble and gold marble angelfish. I raised all these from eggs. So yeah, I'm planning on using these guys to shoot a series on how to breed angelfish. It'll be a long video. It's gonna take a long time to make because it'll. I wanna show the whole process in one video but I think it'll be really beneficial. I know people have already kind of asked about it. These guys are really stressed out at first when I put them in here. Um, I didn't have any decorations or anything in here. It was just black sand and a black background. So I put a little bit of uh, jungle val in, in the sand. <laughs> a rock from an old scape with some java fern growing off of it and they perked right up. Uh, one of these black marble is already pecking at the, uh, the slate we have in here. It might be you. I don't know which one it is. I imagine they're going to have their breeding tube out. So we'll, it'll be interesting to see if the, the black marble stay together or the gold marble stay together or if there's a mix. That'd be kind of cool to see. And I, al I also am planning on taking one of these beautiful black marble. 
like this guy here and crossing them with the blue, the Philippine blue. Make like uh, Sydney's, Sydney's black and blues or something like that. I think that'd be really cool. So we're getting a little territorial right now. They're, they must be thinking about breeding. All right, buddy, take, take it easy. I don't want to disturb them. This one's already cleaning the slate. See that? <laughs> I just put them in there last night. It's taken forever, but I finally um, set up my Bozeman Eye Rainbow Fish breeding tank too. So it's just a 20 high. All three out of four sides are painted black. And we've got a spawning mop in there with two males, two of my best males, and four of my best females. I have to post where these are collected from, these Bozeman Eye, but they're the real deal. Yeah, really excited to breed these and get them out to you. They, these are just stunning fish. They're beautiful. And they grow really slow, so I'm gonna sell them when they're pretty small because it's easier to ship small fish and safer. But that also means you'll pay a little less too. So, as long as you don't mind giving them time to grow, I think these fish will definitely be some of the best Bozeman eye you've ever seen. I mean, these are awesome. These, I'm not enhancing this video at all. This is just how orange they really are. And when they're really happy, the front of their body gets like this really dark blue. Yeah, see that? It's a beautiful fish. These will be on the website probably in a few months. Just give them time to grow up a little bit. My full gold guppy trio has uh, had their first big batch of fry. And I finally just let them out today to go swim with uh, their old man. And they're looking really good. Definitely growing. There's the dad in the back. Um, two females are in the breeding suite again. Yeah, really happy with how those are looking so far. So I started to build my automatic water change system. This is, this general idea is taken from Steve Poland Aquatics. And it's not done, this is just the beginning. But basically, what we have, and pardon the sloppy plumbing work, I gotta come back and redo some of this stuff. Hot and cold lines. I think uh, hot, cold, whatever. Going into a shower valve. I have this set at 78 degrees. And it comes out to a spigot if I just want chlorinated, you know, 78 degree water for some reason, like brine shrimp. And if we go up, all I gotta do is turn this valve on. And the water will come up and, and it'll go through these three whole house filters. This one is a sediment filter. It just re it removes some sediment from the water column. This is a carbon block, and this is a super duper carbon block, basically. So this one release, this one takes out most of the carbon, and this will get any of your remaining carbon. Comes down this tube, and transitions back into a um, garden hose fitting. And whenever I turn that valve, I get 78 degree dechlorinated water. This is just my quick connect, so it's just easier to, you know, when I'm switching hoses, I can just pop my hose in there. But that's, that's the meat and potatoes of my um, automatic water change system I'm gonna be building. Still got a lot to do, but that's honestly one of the worst parts. So I'm glad I got that done. Say thank you for watching. Thank you, that's how she says thank you. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, like button if you found any value in this video, and stay tuned for more videos coming up. Can you say bye bye? Bye. Bye bye. Oh. <laughs> I got more boogies. You got boogies. <laughs>